Yo, 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 everybody. What's going on? Hope you're all doing good. Hope everything's going great for all of y'all. Let's pop into a little bit of the bear grind and then maybe a little bit of the fallow grind and then we're going to hunt just kind of whatever after that. So we shall see. How's everybody doing though? Hope you're all doing good. What's up, Copper, Caleb, Edit Prods, Jenna, Tyler, Finn, Chase, Mullet, PM, Fletcher, Hostetler, Taco, G Wolf, we got Levi, we got King, Julian, uh, Deacon Linder, we got Caden, Taco, Ryder, we got, who else? We got Sweatbox, and a million other people. Mystical God, what's up, dude? What's up, Charlene? How's everybody doing? Sorry, there's so many names. So many names, I can't read them all. Let's see. Let's go to our bear loadout. Because we are about to shoost the burrs. Go 6.30 in the morning, probably. I think that'll be good. Mythical. Good start to the day. All right. So how has everybody been doing today? Hope you all have had a great day. We're currently 219 kills on the bear grind, so we'll see if we can get some good progress today. Maybe get one to pop. See if we can get a low kill count bear grind. Ow. So mean. Holy crap. Levi, thank you for the uh, tier one sub over on Twitch. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it, man. Thought those were white bears for a second. Yeah. <laughs> the elk, uh, they can throw you off a little bit for sure. Like, if I get a spirit bear to spawn and it's next to a bunch of elk, it might take me a moment to realize that it's there, you know? <laughs> it definitely could. What's up, Zacky? How you doing, Sir Zacky? Oh, it's great, Maria. I really like it. What's the difference between the tiers for subs? I think it's like you get different emotes and uh, it costs a different amount. I think that's the only difference, really. I could be wrong. I, I'm i not as uh, versed on Twitch as I am YouTube, so... Not 100% sure if that's the only difference, but... It's one of the differences. There we go. Three more bears down. Christina, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Oh, it's Chiefs. What's up, Chiefs? Yeah, I do remember your old name. I do. How you doing, man? Hey, Will. What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. I'm doing well. Hopefully you are as well. Where do you hunt the bears? I just hunt this top left corner, but uh, they can be across the entire map. Yo, what's up, Ian? How's it going, man? Hey, Panda Main. Mountain Lion. Ruining everything again. Levi, thank you for the bits, dude, because I love your videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that, man. Super generous of you. Well, we finally hit him. Took three shots, but we got him. After only 15 kills, I got my albino lion. Let's go, Sweatbox. That's awesome, man. Hey, Austin. How you doing? Hey, Elephant. When's the Call of the Wild update? On the 12th, BM. It'll be on the 12th. So not too much uh, longer to wait. Two days. Oh yeah, the new AR is insane. It is a crazy rifle for sure. I think it's just one bear here. This is probably the last one that we need to shoot. Uh, we'll pop that elk as well, because why not?
What's the time for Black Bear? So currently, the time for Black Bear is 20 to 0. But once this update drops, you will be able to find the bears from 4 to 8. However, if you haven't gone through and shot all of your bears, they're still be they're still going to be going to their old time until you shoot them. So essentially, when this new update drops, you're going to have to go through all of your uh, old bear zones. Even if you've never found a bear zone, if you've played the map, your bears have spawned and they'll they'll be in old zones, so you'll still need to go and shoot them all. And then once you've shot all of them, I forgot to claim that bear. After you've shot all of them, they will pop up in their new zones. Yo, what's up, Yahoo? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. How much is the new weapon pack? I believe it's $4.99 if I'm not mistaken. I believe that's what I heard is that it's going to be $4.99. Dear Killer King, thank you for the super chat. How's my favorite YouTuber? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing really well. Off to a great start with the bears. They're being super cooperative and nice with returning to their zones quickly. Can we get a look at your tent setups and drink locations? I mean, it's not going to matter too much, Cole, because you're still going to have to go and find all your zones because yours will be different than mine. You can't really uh, choose where your bears go. You just know that they're going to be at some of the zones they can go to. They can go to literally every lake except for like two of them. So you may have a completely different loadout and you may require a completely different uh, setup of tents and stuff like that. Uh, yes, I am missing the spirit bear. We've been after the spirit bear for a long time and still don't have it. Was really hoping my last one would be a spirit bear, but it ended up being another spotted. Not too mad about that, though, as I do like the spotted. What's up, ya boy Sam? Also, I don't know if he's still in here, but I saw CJO in the chat earlier. If you're still here, CJO, how's it going? I don't really add anybody on any games, uh, Austin. You have any advice for a great one grind for Fallow Deer? Uh, yeah. If you're herd managing, focus on the solo males first. Oh, legendary. Because the solo males are the most annoying to manage down. If you're not doing herd management, just pick your favorite zones and grind those repeatedly. I would recommend checking out one of the guides I've got if you want more detailed information. As I do have a couple Fallow guides. Thank you, Wyatt. Appreciate that, man. I appreciate it, my dude. Oh, yes, it's, oh my gosh. What was the 70th great one? It was a great one bear, a fabled spotted. Hey, first diamond of the day. Let's go. Off to a way better start than we were yesterday. Or two days ago, technically. Ooh, that's rough, Sattler. Youch, dude. Yikes. That sounds painful. You think herd management gets great ones quicker than grinding normally? I think if you take it far enough, yes. The way I see herd management is I feel like it affects different species differently. And I feel like it also depends on, like, how far you take your herd management. If you go to, like, a super extreme state where you're popping a diamond every 10 to 15 kills. I've definitely seen a lot more great ones showing up when you have HM that far along. But if I'm just like lightly managed to where I'm getting like a diamond every 40 or 50 kills, uh, it doesn't seem to affect them quite as much, but that's just my observations. That's the thing about it is we can really only go off of our own data because, you know, it's hard to trust other people's numbers and stuff. Yeah, I definitely think that it, it does if you do it right. If you do herd management right, I definitely think that it does help with great ones. Nine thousand kills into your current grind—that's rough, man. That's really rough. 
Is a super rare and a great one within 200 kills good? Yes, that's insane. That's like ridiculously good. That's like gotta go buy a lot lottery ticket type of lucky. <laughs> Oh, he is. Brobra is very much so, Sam. He definitely is. The least swift, swifty of them all. Just kidding, Brobra. <laughs> what is the kill count? 233 as of now. Why do you stack diamonds in your zones for HM? So the only reason you do it is to, one, hold those spots in your main zones so that a small one can't spawn there when you're trying to manage things down. And two, if you get enough diamonds stacked, it's going to help get the rest of the twos faster. Well, I guess I'm speaking in like fallow deer terms, but, uh, oh, another one. Of course we messed it up. What's new? What's new, man? Of course we're missing all- Oh no. Oh gosh. Oh, avert your eyes, everybody. Ugh. That was disgusting. Oh man. I know, right, Robert? That's what I'm thinking, too. Like, we're getting diamonds pretty quick already. Maybe today will be the day. Twenty-two ninety-one. Let's go. It made it. That's what we love to see. That is what we love to see. About how many moose zones do I have on Layton? Like, 110 to 120. Like, somewhere in that range. Also, guys, we might end up uh, doing a stream with Brobra tonight. Not 100% sure, but he said he might be down to play some Hophobia tonight. And if that's the case, I'll probably see if I can get Johnny to join as well. And maybe Caitlin. I know uh, Nate said that he doesn't want to do it today. He wants to do it on Monday. So probably not Nate, but maybe everybody else. Sorry, guys. Had to mute for a second to cough. Oh, that timer in reaction was a little scuffed because I, I was, like, about to cough at the same time that I reacted to that diamond. Otherwise, there would have been a little more of a reaction there, but I was trying not to, like, cough as I said, oh, that's a diamond. We were struggling, man. Got a tickle in my throat today. Probably because we've been having a lot of wind recently, blowing up all that dust and stuff. Yo, what's up, Carter? How's it going? The game is wild? Oh, it's amazing. I love it. I do like me some Pal World. It is a good game. Seven and a five? Nice. I love this 300. It's so good. Yeah, pretty much, JC. That's what it would have been like if I had done, like, uh, my normal pitch of voice whenever I uh, saw that diamond, for sure. It would have been like, oh, a diamond. <laughs> it would not have been pretty. Can't wait to use that 300 on Red Deer. Oh, it's going to be great. They won't stand a chance. They're just going to go die immediately. It's going to be crazy. But to be fair, Green Flames, there's a lot of... Uh, 
There's a lot of uh, diamonds that I find where I do have a great one like reaction because they're ones that I don't see very often. Like for me, it all depends on like how much I see the trophy or how unique the trophy is. Because for example, I could see a diamond white tail, but if it's like a super wonky or weird looking diamond, I'm going to get just as excited as if it was like a great one. Why mute to cough? Because a lot of people don't want to hear coughs in uh, the videos and streams that they watch. I am one of them. It's it's annoying if uh, if somebody puts up a stream or a video and they're just coughing in it the whole time. So I try to mute whenever I cough or like clear my throat or sneeze. And also it can be quite loud in the microphone sometimes. I want to hear you cough. Of course, Kaylee, of course. You shoot all the bears in your main lakes at a time? Uh, yes, if I shoot as many of them as I possibly can in my main lakes. Because if I don't, if they, if I end up missing one or two bears, uh, they're going to be spooked and they won't come back for a couple of runs. Unless I reset the game or go to the main menu. Just watch it and cough, cough. I know, right? What's the best map to grind a whitetail? Personally, I like Layton a lot better than the other maps, but a lot of people swear that Revon Tuli is the best map for Whitetail. I know we don't have alert command on uh, on here. We don't. I've thought about adding one, but just haven't got around to doing it. Yo, what's up, Austin? How you doing, man? How you doing? Play Fishing Planet, or playing Fishing Planet, and I'm grinding to level 68 so I can go to the Amazon. Nice, Maverick. I just hit level 68 last night. I spent a couple hours last night on Fishing Planet trying to level up, and I got to 68 finally. Now I just need to try and get up to 75 before the new ocean map releases. Or I guess I really need to try and get to 80 before the new ocean map releases. But that might take a little bit of time. Man, I'm so excited for the for the new Fishing Planet map. It looks ridiculous. Hey, Ash, what's up? Got an albino moose initial spawn with a diamond moose today, and yesterday got two albino bighorn sheep in multiplayer. Let's go, dude. That's awesome. Sounds like a crazy haul. Um, I, I don't know, Austin. I, I don't have enough information to go off of as to, like, why you're not getting diamonds on Layton. I'd have to know more about, like, uh, how you're hunting, what you're hunting, how long you're hunting per day. Like, those types of things to really be able to tell you. Because there could be a million reasons why you're not finding diamonds. Oh, yes, they definitely should add a great one elk, uh, Bub Cool. All right, later, Caden. Pretty little level seven. I don't know what it is, but the way the sun's on his fur, just looking beautiful. I mean, I am grinding elk, Hostetler. Anytime I see one that's big enough to shoot, I kill it. But I'm only shooting the ones above level two. Why don't I have a face cam? Because I don't like them. I just don't like using a face cam. Never have, probably never will. Are they adding another great one this year? I'm sure they probably will. If I was to make a prediction, I'd say whenever they drop a map, they'll likely drop a great one like they typically would. That's kind of been the pattern they've gone with the last couple years is whenever there's a map, there's a new great one. I kind of wish they would drop the great ones like with a weapon pack or something though. And then like just drop like a map without a great one. I honestly would prefer that if we got like, let, let's say this update right here. Let's say it was like a great one. It was a weapon pack and all the other stuff they added. And then we end up getting like a, a new map at some other point with like some quality of life changes and things. Like I feel like that would be a better layout than map and great one at the same time. 
But then again, I'm not a developer, so maybe they have a reason that they bundle them together in an update. Because it sure seems like they always go with new map and great one at the same time. Harley, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Hey, mate, love your videos. I have my bears fully HM'd. Still at 8,765 kills, grinding 14 bears on the main lakes. Have you found or realized anything that you've done differently since your own 8k grind? Uh, the only thing I did differently was I changed my, like, grinding style completely. Before, like, when I had that 8k grind, I was only grinding two lakes. I was grinding these two lakes, and I was only shooting five males. I was only shooting five bears, and I was getting a diamond, like, every 50 kills. So I wasn't super HM'd. I was only, like, half HM'd. So what I did was I changed it to where I went up here. I shot all the male bears at these lakes. Shot all the female bears until they left this area and went to like surrounding lakes. And then I herd managed the rest of the map down to where my only like shootable bears are up here. And I have like eight of them. I have like eight shootable bears between these five lakes right here. So that's really like the stuff that I did before I started seeing like a change and my second grind was still a long one. It was like 3,800 But then the recent ones have been really quick Nothing there Uh. Oh my gosh. Oh also, thank you for the super chat. I forgot to say thank you. Thank you for the super chat man. Really appreciate it Jaxi said that they will release a new map with the next update, so what are you hoping for? I'm hoping for one of a few different things. I'm hoping for either Texas Game Ranch, that's like my dream map, or an Asia map, a second Africa map would be cool, and I'd also like to potentially see British Columbia. Gosh, man, this tickle in my throat just won't go away. Allergies suck. They suck. What's up, Bimbo man? How's it going? Just one male bear over here, eh? Interesting. What's up, Ender? NEM 2.0. Definitely not going to be NEM 2.0. Not after all the time they've made us wait. There's no way they would do that. You know, I'm not actually too familiar on what type of animals could be in Indonesia. If Crow gets a great one within the next six minutes, I'm going to do a bear grind of my own. Well, you better, uh, we better hope we get one then. We got to make you do that grind. Nothing, eh? All right, then. What scope do I use? I use the Hyperion. Mythical land of seven. All right, just two, eh? Kind of surprised it's only two. On this entire, uh, this entire lake, only two. Usually it's more. Uh, there is no melanistic bears. No, there isn't. No such thing as a melanistic black bear. Because technically all of them are melanistic. And sadly, there's no albinos in the game, though they do exist in real life. How many kills in? We're currently 248 kills in. Do you think because I've not found any bear drink zones on Mississippi, do you think they'll be 4 to 8 or 20 to 0? They'll still be 20 to 0, Hunter. If you've hunted on Mississippi at all, it doesn't matter if you've found their zones. They've already spawned, so they're going to be at the old time. Now, if you've never loaded into a map before, 
then maybe they'll be at the new time because they'll have to spawn in the second you open the map. There we go. Two more down. 250 kills into the grind. Oh, 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 crap. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, gosh, I thought he was going to keep going. Whew. I overflicked because I thought he was going to keep running. What was that? What was that, bro? Aggressive bear. Get out of here. Get out of here, sir. Jeez. Oh, man, that caught me off guard a little bit. Ah, uh, I don't know, Austin. Maybe you just need to hunt more of the map. Maybe try hunting some some other herds of whitetail. Or you could try doing herd management, which requires you to hunt like every single zone for whitetail, like all 60 to 75 of them. Essentially, the more time and work you put into a particular species on each map, or on whatever map of your choosing. Oh, there's a legendary. The more work you put into it, the better results you'll get, essentially. The 10 saved you on that? It definitely did. That bear was really confused. He was like, oh, how do I get this guy? Oof. Popped him. Dropped him. Hey, that's a big one. Max weight. Max weight. Let's go. New map. When is this? We have no clue as of now when there will be a new map. All we know is that they will release one this year. Did they take out the melanistic turkey been grinding for a long time to no avail? No, it's still a thing. It's still a thing. I mean, I, I don't know if you're doing it right, Arv. Like, uh, you've given me very limited information to go off of. Like, I don't even know what you're trying to achieve on your grind. Or what style of grinding you're doing. It's just a bit too vague, you know? What does the mellow turkey look like? So it's just like a little bit blacker. That's really all it is. Like uh, melanistic turkeys are just a little bit darker than the other turkeys. And I believe they have black feet as well. I think that is really the only difference. They look very similar to the other turkeys. However, however, Eastern turkeys, they have a lot of like blue hues throughout their feathers when they're mellow. Which is really, really cool. So, like, the Eastern Turkey Melanistic is definitely my favorite Melanistic Turkey. I really badly want to get one someday. Still don't have one as of now. All right, let's check this zone, see if there's any tracks there. Of course. Uh, oh, oh, it's a great one track! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, it's a great one track! Holy crap! <laughs> Let's go! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Oh my gosh! Look at that! Look at that weight! 224 to 316. Holy crap, my heart is going crazy. I have a heart rate of 125 right now. <laughs> I have a heart rate of 125 right now. Whew. Okay. 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 It's going to be right here. <laughs> it's in that zone. Let's back up and see what it is. 
Please be one of my favorite furs. Holy crap. Mrs. Crow coming in with the 39 months as a member. Holy. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Crow. Oh my gosh. It's another. Is that another spotted? It's another spotted. I think it's another spotted. Wait, no. Is that a glacier? Is that a glacier? Hold up. Let me shoot next to it to get it to move. Is that a glacier? I think it's glacier. Or is it spotted? Turn to me. Oh, it is spotted. Oh, it's another spotted. Dude, this is my third spotted now. Holy crap. <laughs> I just can't get the spirit bear for the life of me. <laughs> but man, I should I can sure get the spotteds. I can sure get the spotteds, apparently. That's so sick, though. That's so sick, though. And I think this is our very first one with the lower weight estimate. I don't think I've ever had one with this weight estimate before. Or have I? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh. I screamed so loud? Well, I, it's because I picked up the track. I picked up the track to find him. I found him via track. It was insane. Oh my gosh. Yo, what's up, Kinsko? You made it just in time, man. You made it just in time for the Fabled 10. The Fabled Bear is there. Look at his estimate. It's only 23 to 24. Ooh, that means he's going to be between 24 and 25. He's going to be my lowest scoring one ever, probably. Min score? I mean, it could be min score, Ender. It could be. I don't even know what minimum score is for great ones. Does anybody know the minimum score? We're going to take it with the, the 10 gauge shotgun, by the way, guys. I got to make sure I got slugs equipped. Okay, I do. I got slugs equipped. This is going to be interesting. 24 is minimum. Really? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, it, it does suck that we didn't get our last fur type that we needed. But like I said the last time that we got a great one bear, if I'm going to get a duplicate, I'm okay with spotted being the ones that I get. I'd prefer to get a spirit or another fabled chestnut, but hey, you can't complain, man. This is a sick trophy. This is super sick. Wow. He's 85 meters away. I think I can get closer. I have 18 minutes before um, they'll leave this zone. Holy. Yo, what's up, Connor? Need big help with my bear grind? Uh, well, I do have... Do, have I released a bear guide? I don't think I've released a bear guide. Maybe I'll release a bear guide soon. Okay, there he is. He's turned a little bit. He's kind of quartering now. Which isn't ideal. But hey, it is what it is. Oh, crap. You're right. I got to ping the Discord. I got to let everybody know that we got him. There we go. Holy crap. Dear Killing King, thank you for the super chat. And Jacoby, thank you for the raid on Twitch. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, Dear Killer King, what is the big don biggest donation you've ever got? Oh, gosh. Um, in one singular donation, I think... Gosh, I can't even remember. It, three or four hundred, something like that. It's been so long. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gotcha, Caitlin. Gotcha. I saw that it said you were typing. I did see that. All right, little bear. What you going to do, buddy? Oh, perfect. Thank you. That is exactly what I needed. He's so pretty. Hunter, why would you do this to me? Trying to get a pretty picture, and you just do that. So the 10 gauge slugs have really terrible, what's the word? They have tough penetration for if you're, 
Hunter, bro. Okay, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need you to chill, man. I'm gonna need you to chill. They it has rough penetration at quartering angles. Like if you hit a scapula, good luck getting into lung. So I gotta make sure that I get perfectly broadside. Oh yeah, Berta, another spotted, another spotted. Yo, what's up, Squish? How's it going? How you doing? Been trying to get a great one. Any advice on fallow deer? I do have a full guide for the fallow deer if you're interested in checking that out. It should be quite helpful. Oh, this guy's just... Man, he's just staying quartered. Gosh, what do I do here? What do I do here? I could wait for it to stand up, but that's risky. Ooh, he's going attentive, so I can't stand up. I can maybe try to get him to go alert. Come on, buddy. And then I got to prone the second. Okay, here we go. Okay. That should be good. It's good. Oh my gosh, we got him. Whew. Oh man, it's so risky and it's such a rush trying to take one when they do the little stand up there because of how buggy they can be when they're alerted. But sometimes you got to do it just to be able to even get the shot off. Oh my gosh. Our third fabled spotted bear of all time. What is this guy going to score? He's He had a max estimate of 24, which means he could score up to 24.99. Um, chat is saying that 24 is minimum score, so let's hope it's minimum score. Uh, Connor, thank you for the super chat, or super sticker, and Ace the Builder. Welcome, dude. Welcome back as a super crow. Thank you. Let's see. What is he? Oh, he's so close to minimum score. Oh my gosh, he's 2403. He's so close to minimum score. Holy crap, man. That's insane. I I have a max scoring bear, and now I have one that's almost, almost minimum score. But I didn't quite get the minimum score. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, he's not even 300 kgs either. Oh, yes, this is oh the smallest God. Great One bear I've ever killed by far, man. By far. How many kills? 253. This was a quick grind. Oh, yeah, Squish. I do I do streaming on Twitch and YouTube now. Taylin, thank you for the 10 months. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I joined his crow. I joined in crows just looking at a great one. Yeah, we got him to spawn. Ooh, that was. Ooh, not my safest shot ever, but got to do what you got to do sometimes. Sometimes that's just how it be. Whew. Holy. Let's see. Am I... Eh, I'm shaking a little bit. But for the most part, I think I'm okay. Holy. Uh, Staff01, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Scarecrow, I'm a big fan. Keep up the good work, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And H the Builder, thank you for the three months. That oh, that point oh three will haunt you now. Dude, it will. Because this isn't the first time I've had something that was point three off of being something. If you guys remember, I had a melanistic level three whitetail that was point zero three off of diamond. So now I've had a great one bear that was point zero three off of being minimum score. It's always point zero three for me. It's always point zero three. Holy. Holy crap. You called it? You did, Green Flames. You did. Oh, yeah. We got to add this to the Great One counter. Boom. There we go. Have I ever messed up a Great One? Yes, I have. I spine shot a Whitetail once. Got to have the first Great One in the new drink time. Uh, this is my second Great One bear since this uh, early access. We got one of them on a 24-hour grinding video where I grinded for 24 hours with the brand new 300. Um, it took like 574 kills to get it, I think. Hold on, let me write down the stats so I can start up a new bear grind. Actually, we could go to Fallow now. We just got our great one bear. I'm not going to bother with uh, writing down all the stats from this grind yet. Let's just go to the Fallow grind now. This is insane. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's so purdy. All right, let's go into the lodge and put him up. I can't believe... The great one was just sitting in this zone. Like, how many runs has he been there? 
how many runs has he been sitting in that zone? Because I only check this zone like every 10 runs. How many runs has he been there? Has he been chilling there the whole stream or did he just spawn? That's crazy. That is crazy. All right, let's go pop him in the lodge real quick. This is going to be the stream with multiple great ones. It could be, man. We've never had two great ones in one stream. We came very close once. But considering we are... Let me find my fallow stats. Okay, considering we are 579 kills into the fallow grind, you never know. Maybe this is the day that we get two great ones in one stream. We can hope. Also, I think it's time that this bear goes up in here somewhere. We just have like some random diamonds here. Okay, this one's got kind of close tips, but I'd rather have the bear there. Ooh, that's cool. Now we just need to put another bear there. That's crazy. Love to see it, man. So this is all the scores of mine. 26, 27, 1, 27, 7, 24. It doesn't show the decimals in the trophy lodge, but. And then what are our other bears scored? Spotted multi? I could do a spotted multi, but like, I don't want to tear any multi mounts down. 27, 1, 26. So the 226s are probably more like 26 point something. 28, that's our max score boy right there. And then there's our final one, 26.5. So yeah, that's that's by far my smallest one ever. That is by far my smallest one ever. Let's head over to Tiawaroa now, see if we can get two in one stream. That'd be crazy. We can hope, that's what I'm saying, man. Maybe we can do it, maybe we can do it. Uh, yes, the Fabled Cream was my first great one bear ever. Robert, thank you so much for the super chat, man. Really appreciate it. Hi, Scarecrow. Can you help me with my fallow grind? Um, I have a couple guides on the channel that would probably help out quite a bit if you're interested. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat. Let's see what we can pull off for the fallow. Calling it now, you will do it. Maybe. Like I said, we're 579 kills into this fallow grind. Um, the only problem is my last few fallow grinds have been really unlucky. Or I guess not really unlucky, but more unlucky than my first few fallow grinds. So our last fallow grinds, oh actually, yeah, our last three fallow grinds have been really long. 1748, 2161, and 1439. So yeah, the last few fallow grinds have not been short. So uh, I'm kind of worried that this one won't be short either. But hey, not much more that you can ask for. I already got one great one today, so I'm happy with that. All right, later, Squish. Thank you for dropping by. Hope you have a good day. Tony and or Tony's been here. Johnny, what's going on, Johnny? Uh, Johnny, would you be interested in playing some Hophobia tonight? Oh, that's a dime. Because Brober said he might be down. Oh my gosh. Brober said he may be down to play some Hophobia today. Which could be quite fun. Nate said that he's not going to. Nate wants to do it tomorrow, but um, I have no idea if Caitlyn's going to or not. We had we would have one more slot available. Let's go, Diamond, to start the day on the fallow deer. Hey, little feller. Sheesh. How do I like the new high caliber pack? I love it. I absolutely love it. It's one of the better weapon packs they've released, primarily because of this insane 300 AR. This thing is a beast. Probably the best grinding rifle ever released. <laughs> yeah, we could always we could always uh, see if that works again, Ender. Oh, got you, Johnny. Got you. Okay. Uh, Kinsko, if, uh, if Hoophobia suddenly, like, happened to randomly end up in your, in your game library, would you play it tonight? You know, just, just, just curious. 
That's a good four, but I don't think he'll make dimes, so we're just going to pop him. Missed that one. Three more down, though. Oh, no, Johnny, that sucks. You finally ended up getting the uh, the sickness that that mom had. I'm assuming so since she was sick recently. If it downloads in time, I am more than down to play a deer versus hunter game. Let's go, Kinsko. Let's go. Yeah, so the game's pretty small. Like, it's not a big file. So it should download quite quick. So the 300 AR is great, but it also relies on the hunter having decent shots. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't got that right now. Oh, oh, but I hit that one, of course, because because why not? I, he's not going to die very quick, but we'll see. Oh, gotcha, Johnny. Gotcha. I feel you on that. Um, I think it's the first time that you, uh, gra like hold the gun after equipping it, a settler. I think it's the first time after you equip it. 40 diamonds and 32 trolls into my moose grind. Hope I get it soon. Hopefully, Carter. Hopefully, you will. Oh, yeah, Kinsko, for sure. It's a very small file size. Ooh, that's a 5-2. Yeah, it's a small file size because the game itself is like, it's not a super, like, insane graphics kind of game. Like, it's, it's very, like, low detail graphics, but it's a lot of fun. Like, it's just, it's just good fun. Yo, what's up, Jenna? How's it going? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you get better soon, and thank you for the congrats on the bear. Oh my gosh, he's so close to 270. So close, man. What was my first ever great one? It was a whitetail off of uh, Rancho Del Arroyo. Yeah, that's a big dime. If he was 270, I probably would tax him, but I already have like three 269s and like five 270s taxidermized in my lodge. Really want to know how to manage herds in the game? Can you explain? Uh, yes. So think of it this way. I've got 37 zones on my map. I'm only hunting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them. Like, eight of them is what I'm hunting. So I'm only shooting the bucks in there because all of my other zones have level twos or small level threes. So the goal is to get the majority of your males of the species you're trying to herd manage down to a really low level so that the remaining ones respawn as higher levels. Essentially, it's the game's way of trying to make up for the map having so many small animals on the map. If you need like more in-depth detail on it, I do have uh, guides for different species and like how to herd manage them. I have a playlist on the channel called Herd Management Guides, and that'll have all of the information you'll need to know. I think Red Deer was his first dime. It was, yes. Red Deer was my first diamond. One of the best diamond wrecks in my opinion. Oh yeah, they look great. They look really good. Able painted Irish elk rack. I will start at my grind. Man, we'll, we'll see. That's a very specific combo. Honestly, I hope I don't get another fabled painted Irish elk rack because I've already got two of them. It's like one of the only uh, duplicate combos I have for Fallow. Oh, it is, Johnny. Oh, man. That's how it be when you're sick. Yo, what's up, Ash? How's it going? Uh, yes, I'll settler. Every single diamond I kill in the game goes into that diamond counter. Even ones that are not from grinds. Nice, Ender. Nice. That's a pretty four. 
possible level four diamond, maybe. Probably not, but maybe. Come on. Go into the open, buddy. Broadside into the open. Come on. He's got to, right? He's still alerted. This is a stubborn deer, man. Nice, Statler. Nice. Is there a way you can show off every great one in the different furs and antlers? Uh, maybe? Problem is, I don't have every single fur and antlers for every single great one. Like, I still don't have a fabled spruce moose, and I don't have a fabled spirit bear. Pulled out the wrong gun. Got him, finally. About darn time, man. Oh yeah, Johnny? I mean, you might as well do it. Why do my bears keep spawning in exterior zones? Because bears are solo animals, they don't have herds, which means they're not guaranteed to come back to the same spot you shoot. Which is why you kind of have to like pick a corner and just grind that one corner. That way they have limited areas they can return to. Because typically whenever you shoot a bear, they're going to respawn like relatively close to where you kill them, but not necessarily in the exact same lake that you killed them at. Uh, which is why a lot of people just hunt the top left, because it seems to be the most consistent and predictable. Oh, got you, Johnny. Got you. True, true, true. Yeah, it's a good combo, uh, Luca. It's a good combo. I'd like to get one of those one day. Honestly, I just like to get any fur with the typical rack that isn't Ashen, because I've got two Fabled Ashen Typicals, and it's the only typical rack moose I've been able to find. I really want to get one of the other fur types with the typical rack. Oh, gotcha, Bubba, gotcha. Maybe I could do something like that as like a... A project for the future. Like how smooth your grind is? Yeah, it's it's nice to have it uh, to this point. It takes a long time to get here. A lot of like a... Uh, Slow grinding in other zones, shooting solos, all that type of stuff to get to this point. But once you get it to a good point, it's uh, it's just a piece of cake. How many tents do I need on Tiaboroa for Great One Grind and how many zones for Fallow? So Fallow Deer, it's usually between like 37 and 45 zones. I've got 37 of them. But I've seen people have clear up to like 45, 47, somewhere in that range. And in terms of tents, like you can... Everybody's grind is going to be a little bit different because everybody's zones are going to be set up differently. Like, uh, for example, I don't need to use as many tents for my zones because like right here I have two zones across from each other. So instead of having, you know, two tents dedicated to or uh, four tents dedicated to two zones, I can just have two tents dedicated to two zones. But, like, somebody else might not have this exact zone layout like I do. Two more down. Ah, uh, Deer Killer King, thank you for the super chat, man. What membership should I get? I mean, that's really up to you. That's really up to you, man. Honestly, I, I kind of always recommend the lowest tier because it gets you all the basic stuff. Like the emotes, the members only videos, that type of stuff. Uh, anything higher than that's really just if you want to support extra. What was great one number 70? It was a fabled spotted bear. Same as 71. Uh, 71 was a fabled spotted bear, TSM. It was 0 .03 off of being minimum score as well. Wait, two males here? I never get two males here. 
That's weird. I never get two males at this zone. Oh, gotcha, Johnny. <laughs> well, that's good, at least. Learning how many zones because Lady has 33. Most people say that you should have 41 to 50, so I was a little confused. Well, it really depends on your solo zones. Um, because, like, for example, the solo fallow deer are going to be a big majority of your your zone count. And also it depends on, like, how many of your herds are, like, combined into the same zones. Like, if you have zero zones where there's, like, multiple herds combined into them, then you're going to end up having a higher zone count in total because they're more spread out. But, like, for me, I have a ton of solo fallow, like, bunched up into the same zone. So they don't have to, like, create extra zones because they're all, like, in the same ones. Uh, Audrey, thank you for the super chat. Uh, not sure what the message said since you retracted it, but thank you. Really appreciate that. Can I make this? The dough is right in the way. Not of him, though. I'm zeroed wrong. Lovely. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Connor, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Great one, Fallow, coming. Maybe we're at we're at 600 kills now. So 600 kills on this fallow grind. We've kind of been doing this fallow grind off and on throughout the last month or so. Just going a little bit at a time with it. Thank you, Cody. It was a lucky shot for sure. Necron, what's up? Hope you're doing good. Uh, Audrey, thank you for the super chat once again. What's the faster way or the fastest way to shoot down solo zones? Um, to do those, I would do the solos before you start shooting down the herds. If you want to do it the fastest, um, because if you're shooting down the herds and the solos at the same time, you know, you're going to get twos popping up in your, in your herd zones, and then you're going to be leaving some of those. So that'll make it harder to shoot down the solo. So I would recommend focusing the solos first. If you want to do it in like the quickest way you can. Alternatively, you could do it um, another way as well. But this is going to require like more, I guess, being more selective. But you can essentially hunt the solos and the herds at the same time to try and get some diamonds to spawn in herds. That way you can stack them, make it so it'll be easier to get twos in your solo zones. Um, the only thing there is if you start getting twos popping up in the herds, you'll have to kill them so that they um, don't, like, raise the average respawns of your solos. Talk, thank you for the two months, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, dude. It's good to have you back, Talk. What's going on, man? All right, I will be right back, guys. I need to hit up the restroom real quick. It'll be no more than two minutes. Oh! <gasps> 
<laughs> oh my gosh! We back. We are back. Let's see. What are we going to get today? Starting a fallow grind, don't know where to set up uh, my tents. Was wondering if you could show me your grind setup. I mean, my grind setup's not going to help you because your zones are going to be different than mine. So, I mean, I can show it to you, but it's very likely that you'll have to set up your tents and blinds differently. But this is how I've got them. But keep in mind, I've heard managed down all of my other zones at the other places, so... I don't need to have tents in other places where if you're just starting a grind, you're going to need to have tents in other places too. Bruce, thank you so much for the super sticker. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing great, man. Hope you're doing great. What's my opinion on the M1? Um, I think it's a good rifle that gets overshadowed by a lot of other rifles. Like, there is nothing wrong with the M1. It's a solid rifle. But nowadays, there's just, like, a lot of other rifles that people tend to gravitate towards instead. Stuff like the 308, the 7 millimeter bolt action, um, 308 bolt action, 303 bolt action, like. I remember when the M1 was the go-to for everybody. And nowadays it's kind of like there's just a lot of other options to choose from. I hit the wrong one. I wanted to hit that guy and I hit this one. There's no way I can hit him, right? Actually, now I can. There we go. Good job, little feller. Giving me an opportunity there. Holy crap, Dre talk with the five gifteds. Thank you so much, Dre. Oh, he thick. Oh, he thick. <laughs> Oh, he thick. Congrats to my cat loves bread. It's me, Hunter, Connor, TSM, and Julian for getting those gifteds from Dre Talk. Holy crap. Be sure to say thank you to Dre. Nice. We got him. That's a big diamond right there. He looks massive, man. He looks absolutely massive. Just try asking Call of the Wild to put an M1A semi-automatic 338 and 22 Magnum. I doubt that will happen. And I mean, I don't really have too much sway over what the devs do. I'm just a content creator. They're not going to put something in the game just because I asked them to. Because if, uh, if, if I want something, but the entire rest of the community wants something else, you know, people would get mad if they added something just based off of me. So, yeah, that's not something they would ever do. That's a big boy. That's a big diamond right there. Wow, we're getting some big diamonds today. We had a 269, now a 268. Are we going to get a 270 plus today? Hopefully. Uh, Yeah, Nash, I have. Oh, somebody redeemed a moderator poll while I was away. Uh, okay, so let me know what you want the, the poll to be, uh, Settler. Let me know what you want it to be. Um, 
Or do you want one of the moderators to choose it? And if so, which moderator? Because uh, there's a few of them in chat today. I said this with the bears. If we're seeing this many diamonds already, then surely the great one is coming soon. Maybe, man, maybe. The thing is, my fallow deer always pop diamonds like this. Like on my bad grinds and my good grinds, they always pop crazy amounts of diamonds because of how heavily HM'd I am. Watch you get a spoon rat great one. That's definitely over 270. <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of crazy. I swear to God, Johnny, if we get a great one and it's a spoon golden, I'm going I'm to blame it on you. There we go. What's my favorite gun? Uh, the new 300 AR is by far my favorite gun. This thing is a monster. Uh, yeah, I've played Valheim like once or twice, but I really couldn't get into it that much. Hey, Golden is a good fur. See, the thing is, Blue, I, I already have two of the fabled golden spoon racks, though. Like, I've got, I got my first ever Great One Fallow as a golden spoon. And the one that I got on the Great One Before Level 60 account was a golden spoon as well. So I just, I'd just be sad to get the same combo three times. I mean, but a great one's a great one. I'd still be happy with it. Uh, no, Crispy, they don't. The game saves locally, so there wouldn't be ways for them to do that. I use a grinding method called herd management, which it's very, very highly likely that herd management increases the spawns of great ones, especially if you do it to an extreme state like I am. All right, we need to main menu. A lot of it's just spending the time to actually get a herd management grind set up properly because so many people stop way before it's ready and then they complain that they're not getting great ones and it's like, well, you didn't even like manage your entire map. You managed like 15 zones and you can't expect to get the same results if you do a third of the work, you know? Cruz, thank you for the super chat once again. Really appreciate it. I hope you're doing great today. Hope you're having an awesome day. AE, what's up, dude? All right, no worries, Kinsko. No worries. No, he's floating. Holy crap, Tipsy FPS with the raid on Twitch. Tipsy, what's going on, man? Welcome to all of Tipsy's viewers. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? You guys missed something crazy. We got a great one bear just a little bit ago. And so now we're trying to get a great one fallow in the same stream. Seeing if we can pull it off. Hey, it's good to see you, Tipsy. It's good to see you, man. Hope you had a good stream. Hope it was a solid stream, a fun time. Exactly, Hillbilly Geckos. Exactly. You got to put in the work if you want to get the payout from it. Exactly. Exactly. No way I missed the bear has to do something. <laughs> Man, it was it was a crazy bear too because it was in a zone that I only check every like 10 runs. And we found it via track. 
And then when we killed it, it ended up being almost minimum score. It was like 0 0.03 off of minimum score. It was crazy. It, it was absolutely crazy. Mm, I'm going to let that guy live. I don't want to risk hitting a doe there. What's up, Uncle D? How's it going, man? I let him my day was a bronze cruising carp. Let's go, Tipsy. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Getting me excited for the next Tackle Tuesday. Only a couple days away. Do we even know what fish we're going for on the next Tackle Tuesday? I have no clue at this point. It goes. Ah, his life, man. His life. What's fallow drink time? Fallow drink time is, I believe, 10 to 13, if I'm not mistaken. Bruce, thank you for the super sticker once again, man. Once again, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, nah, we're probably not going to do golf it today, uh, Hostetler, because Johnny already said that he doesn't want to do golf it because he's sick right now, has a sore throat, and golf it makes him laugh too much, which makes your throat hurt more when you have a sore throat. So we're probably going to do Hophobia tonight. What is the most viewers you've ever had in one stream? Oh gosh, I can't even remember the exact number. I know it was around like 1,400, maybe 1,500. And that was during the early access for Way of the Hunter. So that was a while ago. King of the Catch is Spain Brown Trout. Oh, I'm so down for that. Oh my gosh, I'm so down for that. I love Spain Brown Trout. If we do Spain Brown Trout, I'll be happy. I will be happy with that if we do it. That's one of the few Spain diamonds I actually have. So I'm somewhat comfortable with fishing for them. <laughs> I'd be afraid to say that, Green Flames, because, like, if I say that I'm going to stream until we get another great one, you know that's going to be when I get, like, a 5,000 kill fallow grind. That would be the time when I get a 5,000 kill grind. Because that's just how it'd be. Golf, it was great times. Oh, golf, it was amazing. It was great. I do love me some golf, it. Got a three there. Oh, yes, it's, oh my gosh. 622 kills on this grind. Oh, definitely tipsy. 100%. Definitely. Hey, big boy, how's it going? Or is it Big Bio? How's it going, Big Bio? Bruce, thank you for another super sticker. Oh my gosh, dude, you're spoiling me. Holy crap. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You absolute legend. I might make an exception if Tipsy plays golf it. It would be worth killing my throat. I think Tipsy just ended his stream, Johnny. I think he's done for the day, but... I mean, I could always ask him. He's right here in chat. And great one's going to be Irish Elk with Hooded or Silver. Ah, uh, that wouldn't be too bad. I don't have either of those combos yet, do I? And no, I do have a Hooded. I have an Irish Elk Rack Hooded. But I don't have an Irish Elk Rack Silver, so I wouldn't mind that. I'd like to get another Fabled Mocha or another Typical Rack. Like, any of those would be great. Is Selective Shooting and Herd Management different? Um, I mean, herd management is selectively shooting animals, but you could selectively, you could selectively hunt without herd managing. Like, technically, I mean, you could just be selectively hunting even if you only shoot the biggest one out of the herd, right? But I mean, if the, if there's two level twos in there, you just pick the, the biggest two and that would technically be like selectively hunting. So, yeah, I guess they are different, but they can also be, like, intertwined as well. Oh, gotcha, Tipsy, gotcha. <laughs> no worries, man, no worries. Great one, number 100 is going to be so hype. Oh, for sure, for sure. Gonna be a while before we hit 100, though. Gonna be a while. What's my favorite animal to hunt? I would say, overall... Favorite to hunt of all time. 
Probably. I mean, nowadays, with the way they've changed bears, bears are up there. I don't know if they're number one. I'd say number one for me is probably the Rusa deer. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. I'm going to say it's either bears, fallow, or whitetail. Probably whitetail. I think whitetail's still the grind that I have the most fun with. Bruce, thank you for another super chat. Holy, man. Holy. Just popping in with those super chats like crazy. Yeah, absolute legend. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's my favorite great one? The moose. The moose great one is my favorite. It's not Euro hair. <laughs> I mean... I, I don't hate Euro hair hunting. Probably because I got an albino one like a long time ago. And, and I, I do I do have like a soft spot for the Euro hairs out of all of the rabbits. Euro hair is probably my favorite just because uh, I had good luck with them in the past. <laughs> one, two, three, and that's a four. Well, it's a level three, but that's number four. Dude, Cruz. Another, another super sticker. Cruz, dude, dude, dude. Thank you. Thank you, dude. Don't go broke, though. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you so much, man. So much fun not with the rhino. Oh yeah. You love blasting those bunnies with the with the big boomsticks for sure. For sure. Oh my gosh. 300 Magnum AR versus rabbits? That sounds like a good time. That sounds like a real good time. Welcome back, Luca. Is it bad if I have mostly fours and fives on my great one bear grind? Um, it depends. Are you doing herd management or are you just shooting everything? If you're just shooting everything, that's not bad. That's normal. Um, if you're doing herd management, that would just mean that you're not managed down enough. What camo do I have on the 300? This is a camo that comes with the uh, new weapon pack. So when you buy the new weapon pack, it comes with five different uh, weapon camos. And yeah, a lot of them look really good. We can pop into the tent real quick after we fast travel and... I'll show you what it's called. Oh, ah, yes, it's, oh my God. Christina, thank you for the super chat as well. Holy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this right here is the camo. It does look super clean. Like, it's a great looking camo. How many zones should you have for Rocky Elk? I never counted with Rocky Elk. Also, thank you guys for all of the follows on Twitch. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So the new camos that come with this pack is this one right here. This is the one that we're using currently. It's the high caliber pack tiger stripe camo. Looks pretty good. And there's also the high caliber pack flectarn camo, which is not bad at all. Like that's a good one too. And the high caliber hunting pack digital camo, which again, looks pretty clean. I like it. And then for materials, you get this beautiful carbon black metal. Which, to be honest, it's more of a navy blue, but hey, it still looks good. And then the last one I can't put on this gun, but it's this wood up here. The high caliber pack o Ove Ovenkel wood. Ovenkel wood. I hope I said that right. <laughs> All right, later, Tipsy. Thank you once again for the raid, man. I really appreciate it. You absolute freaking legend. Don't worry, I'll go easy on you uh, on Tackle Tuesday in, in, in payment for this. <laughs> Will this be a DLC or free content? It's it's a DLC. Weapon packs are always a DLC as, you know, that's how they make money to continue adding more stuff to the game. But everything else with this update is free. So, like, all of the update is free aside from the weapon pack. The weapon pack is the only thing that isn't free. 
But like customizable binoculars, that's free. Uh, all the changes to animal classes is free. All that type of stuff. Uh, yes, this still is early access. The full release will be the 12th. So two days from now, technically like a day and a half because they usually release them pretty early in the morning. What are some extra things I think could make the game better? Uh, more trophies and more trophy lodges. That is probably the two things I would say would make it better in my eyes. By more trophies, I mean more great ones. I'd love to see a non-typicals feature be added to where, like, all the deer and elk and stuff that we shoot have a chance of having drop tines or stickers or just being, like, crazy deformed antlers, like, full-on non-typicals. That is probably my most wanted feature they could ever add to the game is non-typicals. It would just... Because not only would it be another amazing trophy to go after... But it would kind of like split up what people grind for. Because right now, either you go for diamonds and rares, um, just play casually and don't go for anything, or you go for great ones and super rares. So it'd be nice if they added something else to kind of give people something else to chase after. Like if they add non-typicals into the game, I would probably go for non-typicals more than great ones because I just love the way non-typicals look. And yeah, as for lodges, I really want more lodges in the game. I Just give us one more lodge that's bigger than the two that are currently in the game. And if possible, make it customizable. Make it customizable so we can like swap out uh, different size plaques and stuff on the wall. Choose like how many full body mounts we want in our lodge. Like I'd love it if we could customize it. And then of course, like filters for lodges would be very much appreciated as that's kind of something we've needed for a while holy i missed a member viper thank you for becoming a member dude welcome back hope you're doing great hope you're doing amazing no i i you haven't missed the mod pool um because you never answered if you wanted to do it yourself like if you wanted to tell me what you wanted it to be or if you wanted a moderator to choose you, you never answered my question so we haven't done it yet Give us more things to buy. Exactly. More money sinks in the game would be nice. Uh, the question is, like, what other money sinks could they add? They've already added cosmetics. That's a money sink. They've... Obviously, there's a, a time reset cost. There, there does need to be more money sinks in the game, though. Multi-species, multi-mount. Yes, please. More multi-mounts. And more like customizable multi-mounts. Like, it, make it so we can customize whether we want like male or female in there. Like, I, I shouldn't be locked to having three male whitetail in a huddle whitetail mount. Like, what if I want to put three does in there, eh? Or two bucks in a doe. I think that'd be cool. I think that'd be really cool. Bulk ammo purchases. Yes, that is another one. That would be huge. That'd be so good if they made it so we could do bulk ammo purchases instead of having to spam it. Oh, I wouldn't want fast travel to cost money. No, that's that's not my idea of a good money sink. That's just like kind of a pointless money sink, sink just for the purpose of having a money sink. Uh, Zach. How's it going, man? Was wondering if on your next stream, if I send some money, if I could give you my account and you could rearrange all my tens of tripods for the Red Deer Great One Grind or not. Uh, I probably wouldn't do that because that's like a whole, like, messy process to go through of getting login details, logging in, then taking time out of my day for making videos and streams and putting it towards, like, moving your tents around. So, like, I probably wouldn't do that just because... It would take a lot of time out of the day for me. 
And like I'm already swamped with stuff to do every day. The videos don't make themselves, you know. Some more mails over there. Uh, yes, Sam, it is. It is on Steam. Oh, gotcha, Johnny. No worries. I'm excited for some more Hophobia. That game is just too freaking fun. <laughs> like popping these fallow deer with the 300. Too much fun. We're at 640 kills now. Holy. Ooh, is that a troll? That's probably a troll. That wreck occasionally makes it, but not very often. <laughs> oh, that poor thing. Bro has bullet holes and skid marks now. Guess he needs to get good. Yeah, no worries, Zach. It's just, unfortunately, something I, I don't really have enough time to do. Like, uh, there, uh, there's so much stuff that I try to get done a day that most of the time I don't even get to everything that I'm trying to get done. Like, there's so many video projects that are just, like, on the back burner because I don't have enough time to make all of them. Like, I have so much footage. Hey! <gasps> yes! Yes, there we go! Oh my gosh, we did it! Two great ones in one day! Yes! Yes! Two great ones in one day! My first ever two great ones in one day! Oh my gosh! I have never killed two great ones in one day before. Or never spawned two great ones in one day before. Oh my gosh! Yes! Yes, dude! Yes! Which one is that? Is that hooded? Oh my gosh, it's a hooded blade rack. It's a hooded blade rack. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Out of over a hundred thousand kills amongst all of our great one grinds throughout the past three years or so. I've never had two great ones show up in one day. Even back when I would grind 10 hours a day on stream. Even then, we never managed to get two in one day. We've officially done it. We've done it, finally. Two great ones in one day. And this one's actually a combo we didn't have. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Oh my gosh. Yes, that's right, Caitlin. This is the combo you just got, too. Wow, he's beautiful. He's going to be a low-scoring one, too, which, I, which is good. I like the lower scoring blade racks better than the high scoring ones. Try for a third. I don't know if I'm going to try for a third. I think we'll have to get to the casual part of the stream because I did put in the title that we do it, that we would do a casual hunt after. Dare Killer King, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Let's go. That's what I'm saying, man. Let's freaking go. Oh, this wind is in such a bad direction. We're going to have to loop around like quite wide. What's a high score one? Like 257, 258, 259 would be a high scoring blade rack. A uh, low scoring blade rack would be around 250. Most of them are kind of in the middle. This is insane, man. Total kill 642. 642 for this guy. Because uh, this particular grind, the fallow grind, uh, we've been doing this off and on for like the last few weeks. Like a hundred here, two hundred there, another hundred here. Oh, ah, yes, it's, oh my God. Holy! Go for a moose great one. I don't think I'll go for a moose great one today. Wow, he's beautiful. He is absolutely gorgeous. Um, if one of the moderators. Oh, actually, I see Sam right there. Uh, could one of the moderators pop into my Discord and ping everybody that we have a great one? Holy. Holy, man. Please use the 4570. I can do that. 
I think we have it with us. Do we? I don't have it with me. Oh no, I don't have any of the new guns with me. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh oh yeah, Sam. Let me check. Oh, there we go. Caitlin got it. Caitlin got it. Thank you, Caitlin. Goodbye, buddy. I I'm sorry. I had to come back and get the proper gun. We're just going to go to the bear loadout because that's got both of them. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Holy smokes, man. This has been a day. This has been a freaking day. Oh, no. Did we just lose that tent? No. Oh my gosh. Did that spook them off if they were there? Okay, they're not there. Now we got to go through the whole plopping the tent down, picking the blind up, putting the tent down, picking the blind or putting the blind back down. This is going to be annoying. Give me a second. So essentially the reason we have to do it this way is you can place the uh, blind close to the tent, but you can't place the tent close to the blind. So it's one or the other. There we go. Now we're good. Holy crap. Audrey, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Can I get your luck? I'm 3,000 kills in for Fallow and still no luck. Um, Are you by any chance using herd management? If not, I would maybe try doing it. And uh, A-Rod, thank you for the super chat as well. Brian missed the reaction rip. Dude, this has been a day and a half. <laughs> yes, TTK, two great ones. We killed a bear earlier, and now we've got a fallow on the map. This is my first, my first ever stream with two great ones in one stream. Or I guess like when we've spawned two great ones in one stream. Because we've stacked great ones before and then killed them all in one stream. But I've never spawned two in the same stream. Yeah, Necron, you did miss the bear. Yeah, Tipsy left just a little too early. Oh, let me let me scroll up and see what you said for the mod poll. Um, I'm not gonna do one that's related to like uh that's gonna affect like how long I stream. Um Ostetler. I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hunt moose. Because I, I don't want to go for moose right now. I promised everybody I'd do a casual hunt after going for great ones. So I got to stick to my word on that. Um, we can do a different hole if you would like, though. You called it green flames? Sheesh, you're on fire today. Here we go. We got the trusty 4570 handgun. Let's get it. Yes, JC, two great ones in one day. My first time ever spawning two great ones in one day. And both of them were beautiful. Beautiful, man. Look at that thing. Honestly, we could probably get it from here. Ooh. Oh my gosh. And he just drops. And he just drops. There he is. My first ever Fabled Hooded Blade Rack combo. Let's go. 251. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I needed. Holy crap. I have wanted a super low scoring one. And we got it. We got a super low scoring one. 251 is really low for this rack. That's awesome. And the reason I wanted a low scoring one is because when they're tighter like this, it just looks cooler. When they're super wide, they the antlers almost go like completely flat out to the sides, but this one's angled more because it's a lower scoring one. This looks really good. That's almost your dream combo. Let me guess. Your dream combo is Fabled Silver Blade. That's that's my prediction, Sam. Is that your Oh, Hooded Irish is your favorite. Got you. Okay. Hooded Irish is not bad. That's true. Get this beast. It's looking beautiful. Looking snazzy. 
Uh, Viper, thank you for the super chat. Run through Mississippi with the three new guns. Ooh, I like that. I like that idea. Yeah, Brayden, you missed it just by a little bit. That's what I'm saying, Sens. This is the first time I've ever had two great ones in one stream. And I've, I've done a lot of grinding streams. As you guys probably could tell by just looking through my, my, my past live streams on YouTube. I think I've probably had over a thousand streams grinding for great ones. Probably close to it, at least. Maybe over it. Exactly an hour apart. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Crazy how they're both low scoring. I know, right? It's honestly a dream come true. You know, a lot of people would just be after the highest scoring of everything, but I kind of like getting the super low scoring ones too because they're unique. Yo, Chip with the three months tier one sub. Thank you, dude. Thank you for the three months, Chip. Chip, did you get to see the bear earlier? I don't think you did, right? We got a great one bear and a great one fallow in one day. Yeah, it's a really cool combo, Milo's, for sure. I like this one a lot. <laughs> hey, that's that's what I'm saying, Sam. Apparently, some people don't know that. Jeez. He's purdy. No, G-Man, that's rough. Oh, I'm sorry, G-Man. Nothing you can do about that, though. Our second trip to the Great One Lodge today. That's a first. That's a first. Oh, my gosh. What, you crazy crow? Dude, Chip, that's what I'm saying. I've never had two in one day. This is like a, this is a pretty massive milestone. I've never had two spawn in one day. Let alone like two species. Like that's crazy. Here's the first one we got earlier, Chip. This guy right here was a 2403 scoring great one spotted bear. Almost minimum score. Like so close to minimum. And now we got this fallow. Um, we can put this fallow right here. Ooh, okay, I like that. That's pretty. The hooded is a good one for wall mounts. Because you can really see like the details on it really good. Sheesh. That's crazy. That's crazy. I just need one more bear to go here and replace this whitetail. And then I'd like to get another fallow to put right there. Eventually, I'd like this entire room to be great ones and super rares. We're probably a ways away from that, but I'd like to get it to that. Also, um, any moderators in chat? Chip, Chip, you're a moderator in chat. What, um, and Tony, you're a moderator in chat. What would you guys uh, like the mod poll to be on Twitch? Because Hostetler redeemed a mod poll, so you guys can choose whatever you want it to be. Oh, the counter, that's right. Great one counter. Goes up by one. Boom. Crazy. Well, now what do we do? I do like the idea of a Mississippi hunt with the three new weapons. I do like that idea, so I think we'll go to Mississippi. Now, we're not going to do any more Great One grinding from the, for the day because I told everybody in the title of this stream that I would do a, just like a chill, casual hunt after. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head out. Actually, the bear loadout's perfect. I got everything I could need. Boom. I think I will swap these two around in slots. And we'll go bird shot in the shoddy. Uh, the Twitch subs on the counter. How does that work? Because it never goes up or down. Uh, it's gone up. It went up. If it's a if it's a resub, it doesn't go up because it, it's like a it's like an existing subscription just getting renewed. But if it's a brand new sub, um, we got one brand new sub earlier, so it went up from thirty two to thirty three. So yeah, it it goes up. It just resubs aren't gonna make it go up because that's an existing sub that's just being renewed. Diamond Gator, maybe? Maybe. That'd be cool. I think we're just going to run around, maybe shoot some turkeys and whatever else pops up in front of us. 
gosh, I still I'm still blown away that we got two different that we got two different great ones today. That's just mind-boggling to me. That's mind-boggling. What's my total harvests? So I don't know my total harvests. I don't actually know like my total total harvest because the codex has been broken for years now. Essentially, there's been like three different updates that kind of broke the codex in the history of Call of the Wild, and I played during all of them. Back when I was first starting up YouTube, there was a bug where silvers were counting as uh, golds, golds were counting as diamonds, diamonds were counting as great ones in the codex, so all those numbers are borked. Um, if I don't claim an animal, it still respawns, but it doesn't count as a kill on like the kill counter, so... There's probably thousands of kills missing from it because of that. So I just really don't even keep track of like uh, my overall stats because I know that they're not accurate. But I know for a fact I've killed around like 100 to 105,000 animals just on Great One Grinds alone because I keep track of every single one of my Great Ones. Uh, every single one of my Great One Grinds manually through an app on my phone and then I write down all the stats on a notepad on my PC. So I know my total kill counts over, it's easily over 115,000 because I've killed a lot of animals outside of grinds as well. In fact, it's probably like 125,000. I have seven diamonds, but my codex says five or six haven't looked in a bit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not accurate. Like the codex is not a good way to like track your stats. I mean, even right now, if you guys kill a great one moose, there's a pretty high chance it will not show up in your codex. Great One Moose have been bugged like ever since release where they just don't show up in the codex. They even tried fixing it once and for some reason I guess it just didn't work. What's my favorite map? My favorite map ever is Emerald Coast. If I check my codex it says I have one great one but I have two. Yeah exactly that's what I'm saying like it doesn't track things properly. It's been broken for years, and they've just never been able to fix it. What's the app called? Uh, the app that I use is called Smart Counter. Ooh, we got a bear. Yeah, we've seen a million bears. Let's go hunt something different. Kind of thinking we'll run this way, though. How many ultra rares do I have? Zero. Absolutely zero. I have 27 great ones and it says I only have 17. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate how borked the codex is, man. It's unfortunate. Um, did Tony choose what the mod pool is gonna be? Or did Chip? I I guess none of the moderators have chose what the mod pool is gonna be on Twitch. Oh, you don't have to necessarily set it up, uh, Tony. You can just you can just tell me what you want it to be, and I'll set it up. Because yeah, I don't know I don't know how to allow moderators to set up polls either. I'm gonna Google it real quick while we're running around trying to find some animals. Oh, too soon! White tail in the distance. Where is he? Ooh. There we go. Okay, so we got some whitetail right there. Let's mark that so we don't spook them. Oh, they're even closer. They're alerted now, though. Oh, he's behind the tree. Got him. We got him. What's up, deer hunting? How's it going? Favorite soda flavor. Okay. All right. 
What what soda flavor should we add on there to favorite soda flavor for the poll? What what's what flavor should we do? I mean We gotta put on like Coke slash Pepsi because those are like classic flavors. Um We'll put cherry on there, we'll put orange on there. There, we'll do it like this. All right, back to the hunt. And for those confused, this is a, a poll on Twitch because somebody redeemed uh, some points to have a poll set up. Boom, 4570 doing pretty good. Honestly, this 4570 handgun, I, it kind of blows my mind that it's better than the rifle. Like, uh, it doesn't make too much sense that it should be this much better than the rifle. Because the rifle, it's got a full length barrel. And this uh, doesn't have a full length barrel, barrel, so it's like, how man? How does this have more range than the rifle does? I'll give you a dollar for a YouTube poll. Hey, if you want to do that, Sam, I'll do it. Let's see, what's everybody voting on, voting for right now, eh? Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Not vitals? No, not vitals, man. Sam, thank you for the super chat. Now, what was the poll that you wanted me to do? What was the poll you wanted me to do? <laughs> do you want me to do the same poll as on Twitch, or do you want me to do a different one? Yeah, absolute legend, Sam. Yeah, absolute legend. Right, we got we got to get going back uh, the direction we were going. We got sidetracked. Not too sad about the pistol having more range, so it's better range for a smaller gun. I mean, I, I kind of get it from like a development standpoint of like, they want there to be a reason to pick the pistol over the rifle. But I, as somebody who like, uh, who's kind of a gun nut IRL, it drives me crazy that the rifle has like such a poor range compared to the handgun with the exact same caliber when the handgun's got a shorter barrel. Let's go, Caitlin. Let's go. Ooh, favorite kind of food. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Let's end that poll. It looks like you guys are definitely most excited for the new weapons out of this update. Now let's pop a new poll up. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. Let's see. The problem is there's not enough room to put every different kind of food. So I'll just put up the most popular ones, I suppose. What would, what would you guys say is more... Uh... I guess we'll do Indian food because India's got some pretty fire food. Let's be honest. They got some fire food. So this is like the four basic kinds of food that everybody loves, I think. I think so, at least. I mean, these are the ones that I really love, at least. So we'll put them on there. <laughs> I got to say, Chinese food is probably my favorite. Like, mmm, amazing. 
Absolutely amazing. Yeah, Mexican food's also fire, like, uh, for sure. Definitely. Glad you like it, A-Rod. Yes, we did get a great one, Fallon. We got two great ones today, man. Two great ones. This poll's gonna decide my dinner. Wow, Sam, you did this poll just to decide your dinner. Okay, I see how it is. <laughs> yes, Kinsko, two great ones. We got a fabled hooded blade rack fallow deer. Along with that bear that we got earlier. Like, sheesh. For real, Morgan. It's tough to choose, man. It's tough to choose. Oh, you did, huh, Settler? Love to see it. Love to see you, man. More deer. This is supposed to be just like a variety casual hunt, and all we're finding is whitetail. It's like the whitetail are just calling my name. They're like, come on, man. Set up the whitetail grime again. Grime? Grind again. I can't talk either, so, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. This bear keeps talking to us. Will I switch up the map or no? Uh, this is probably going to be what we do for the rest of the stream. There we go. Hard shot. Love to see it. How old am I? I'm 25. Uh, we don't get them in early access gear. They they never give us the cosmetic packs in early access. I guess those just like... I guess they just save all of that for the release. Because, yeah, we've never been able to check out the new, co new cosmetics unless it comes with a pack. Like, uh, there's five cosmetics we get to try out in this because they come with the high caliber hunting pack. But, yeah, aside from that, we don't get any uh, cosmetics in early access. <laughs> oh, man. It's always funny when people redeem the timeouts in uh, in Twitch. Hilarious. Love it. Oh, really, Neo? That's crazy. That's pretty cool, though. That is pretty cool. Ma'am, don't move. Ah, joke's on you. You should have moved. Should have got out of here while you could. R.I.P. Ostetler, for real, for real. <laughs> he will be missed. And he will be back. Yeah, I wish we got a chance to check out the cosmetics, but... In a way, I'm kind of happy that we don't get the cosmetics early, because that gives us something else to look forward to new whenever uh, updates drop. Not gonna lie. I'm still, like... I'm still like in the great one grinding mode. I pick up this track, I see the weight, and I'm thinking it's a bear. Thinking it's a great one bear. <laughs> but it's just a it's just a croc or a gator. That's funny. Dude. There's stuff all over. Cause it's like there could be a great one bear on Mississippi. There is bears here, so. Got me on high alert. Come on. I doubt any of those hit, but maybe we got a lucky pellet. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of surprised too, Sam. I thought for sure that like uh, Chinese food or Italian would end up winning. But I guess that's just because I love pasta and stuff and I love Chinese food. Like probably my... Oh, gosh, I'm going to... Man, just thinking about it, I think I might order some Panda Express tonight. I might have to order some Panda Express. What would I say is the most hated map in the game? Holy crap, no way, we hit it. Oh my gosh, the range on the 10 gauge is actually crazy with Birdshot. Oh my gosh. No way we hit that. No way we hit that. Yes, Nate, we got two great ones today. 
Two great ones. For the first time ever in the history of the channel. Uh, but back to like most hated map. I'd say most hated map is either... It's either New England because everybody was really disappointed at how lackluster it was compared to previous maps that have been released. Um, the other option potentially is... There was a lot of people that were very... I guess... Well, they didn't used to be, right? Like, Parque Fernando used to be a really popular map, but as the years have gone on, it's kind of fallen behind. So I'd say Parque is one of them because it's really brushy and it just doesn't have a lot of crazy animals. It's kind of a tough map to hunt. And then Hirschfelden's probably another one that is not very, not very popular. Hirschfelden, New England, and Parque are probably the three, like, least popular ones. Okay, so we hit these turkeys, but they did not die. They, they definitely did not die. That one died. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn the game volume up a little bit because I, I just have to have you guys hear how amazing this gun sounds. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. It's a symphony to my ears. Oh, it's just beautiful. Like the Eastern turkeys. Love these little guys. Ooh, rip cheese ball. Feels bad, man. It happens though. It happens. That's why I always proofread messages before I send them. Just to make sure I got it right. Okay, I got I got a question for you guys. I'm going to put up a poll real quick. Because I think it's clear which type of food you guys like the most. So, let's put up another poll. To see if we stay with Mississippi or if we go to Rev and try to hunt a bunch of birds. Because I want to smoke some birds with this shotgun. There we go. Two options on the poll. Let's see what you guys vote for. Uh, this is going to be a YouTube only poll, by the way, because I don't want to... I, I don't feel like setting up two polls. Oh, well, Rev on Tuli is already running away with it. Ooh, you're not bad. He's not bad at all. Ah, uh, bad shot. Bad shot. I hit far back. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. To be fair, big block. Twitch gets some uh, exclusive polls as well. 212. Bad shot on the first. Second one smoked him, though. Destroyed him. Okay, Rev on Tuli's ahead. It's got 81% of the votes. I think you guys clearly want to see some Rev on Tuli action. So let's do it. Let's do Rev on Tuli. So I'm thinking, got a lot of pressure down there. Let's go for maybe Ptarmigan. Yeah, I'm thinking Ptarmigan. I, I love me some Ptarmigan. Let's go smoke Ptarmigan. We'll maybe run up this left side. Ah, actually, we'll, we'll kind of hunt down here first. Nice hunting gods, nice. No, I can't do Rev on Tuli multiplayer because I'm on the early access build. I can't play in multiplayer on early access. Um, unless I'm just like playing with a couple of content creators, you know? Because I, I can't play on the normal servers that everybody would have up.
What's the map in the game right now? This right here is Rev on Tule Coast. The one that we were just playing on before this is Mississippi Acres. Oh, no worries, Coda. How you doing? Hope you're doing good. Y'all like my blinged out binoculars? <laughs> uh, I love that you can put the metals on them. The metal finishes are so cool on them. Oh gosh. Got him. Or got her. I accidentally clicked the scope off though. You think water is wet? Uh, I would imagine, yes. Fire for sure, dude. It looks great. Oh, yeah. We're jamming. Jamming as always. <gasps> Willow Tarmigan. You're mine. You're mine, little buddy. Instead of spending his money on a watch, he spent it on some blinged out binoculars. Yup. <laughs> Got those diamond binoculars. For real, for real. Oh, come here, little guys. They're adorable. Don't fly early. Don't fly early, man. There's a moose. Oh no, I'm reloading. Did I get him? Oh, yes, it's, oh my gosh. Ah, not going to get him. Uh, one second. Viper, thank you for the super chat. My hound is named Sooty and the retriever is named Sweep. Love it, man. Love it. Love it. They're adorable until they're dead. True. True. There we go. Engage doing its job. Smoking them. I can already tell this 10 gauge is going to be one of the most fun shotguns to use just because it's a semi automatic. Wait, did we kill two of them? Hold up. That looks like three things of hunting pressure. Yo, we did. We got it. We got it. Oh, dude, Broper's going to go crazy when he gets a hold of this shotgun. Like when Brobra gets a hold of this uh this pack right here, he's gonna love this shotgun. There's our molting male. Uh oh. Oh gosh. Dude, we're just blasting everything. Who's Brobra? Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just you know. He's uh he's somebody. He's a person that does things and he likes birds and tweet tweet. How much for those binoculars? Uh they they was about fitty. There's just moose everywhere. It's just moose all over. Where's the birds when you really want them? Just moose after moose after moose after moose. But of course, when I was doing my Rev on Tuli moose grind, we had trouble finding them. And now that we're uh, hunting birds here, the moose are just everywhere. Oh, we got geese. And a teal. Can I hit this? This thing seems to have crazy range. Imagine we hit some crazy shot like that, guys. Oh, nice, Chiefs. That's awesome, man. Don't be miserable about it. Ooh. 
The, the, the puns never leave me. You guys always bring the puns along. Oh my gosh. Okay, Chip. I just discovered how you do uh, the polls. So moderators on Twitch can create polls by doing slash poll. So the moderators have to do the slash poll command. See if that'll work for you, Chip. It says it'll pull up the, like the poll interface. If you end up uh, doing that. I just searched it up on my phone and it seems like that's how you have to do it. Where is this little guy? We heard him. We heard him over here. I'm running. Good. Better be running. You better run. Where? Over here? But where though? Ah, man. Luckiest ptarmigan ever. How did I even hit that first long range shot over here? I can't hit one for the life of me over here. For the long range ones at least. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, really Tony? Oh, did somebody redeem the timeout on Twitch? Oh, it's grayed out so you can't select it. Oh, got you. Okay, I'll have to figure out how to do that. Let me see if I can do it, Tony. <laughs> I can. <laughs> R.I.P. Tony. <laughs> I can indeed do it. Hey now. What what the beavers fallen stuff on? My was it one of my tents or was it my collar? What was it? What did they smoke? They they hit something. Feels bad, man. I don't think I'll have to, Chip. I mean, maybe. If I have to, then I will. Yeah, Jesse, we had 190k. It's honestly kind of crazy. Update times are a wild time of year. What is my favorite animal to hunt and why? I'd say my favorite animal to hunt is probably whitetail deer. I've just had the most fun hunting them over the years. And I've got some of my most memorable moments with whitetail deer. How much longer on the stream? Uh, not quite sure. Not sure. Thank you, Volt. Also, how you doing, Volt? Oh, gotcha, Tony, gotcha. Actually, you guys are probably right. Maybe I should end the uh, stream now because I have a second stream I need to do later today. And I have a YouTube short going live in 50 minutes, so we're probably going to hop off. This has been a fun stream, though. This has been a groundbreaking, record-setting stream for us as well. Two great ones in one stream. I've never been able to do that before. Never been able to do that before, so that's pretty crazy. And we had a fun hunt around with the shotgun and stuff afterwards, so love to see it. I will uh, probably see you guys on the second channel later tonight. We're likely going to be doing some Hophobia on there. If you don't know what that is, it's a deer versus hunter game. 
I'll uh, put a link in the community tab of my main channel whenever I go live on there. So uh, stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace, peace.